Hello, my name is Supun Pansalu Devaraja and I'm a final year student at the University of Westminster. This is the prototype presentation of my final year project, Clonty, a scalable approach to collaborative ontology alignment. As shown here in the high level architecture of the solution, Clonty aims to solve the problem of ontology alignment using crowdsourcing approach, whereby experts or knowledge engineers align the ontologies using different algorithms and the resulting partial candidate alignments are then fed into a social network game hosted on a social network where two players will interactively work together to verify the alignments generated by the expert. This contains two subsystems Clonty CAGS and Clonty SNG. Clonty CAGS stands for Candidate Alignment Generation and Storage and Claudia SNG stands for Social Network Game. First, let me demonstrate Clonty CAGS. As shown here, Clonty CAGS contains two main roles, the expert and the administrator. Let us first demonstrate the expert. The expert can choose an algorithm from a list of supported algorithms Specify two URIs to be aligned and align the ontologies. Here we will be using two example ontologies, a food ontology and a restaurant ontology. The alignment process is configured using the Goals API where two ontology loaders are used to load the ontology into the algorithm. It is filtered by a threshold value for the algorithm and then finally converted into the alignment format and stored in the database using a custom implementation of the matrix to align class. After the alignment is done, the alignment results are presented to the user in a data grid where you can see the measure, the source ontology, the source entity URI, the target entity URI and the relationship between these two concepts. Moving on to the functionalities of the administrator. The administrator possesses all authority of the expert plus the authority to adjust the thresholds of the algorithms used in the alignment process. You can choose a specific algorithm and specify a threshold. The threshold must be between 0 and 1. This threshold is used to filter out the alignment process. The administrator also possesses a functionality whereby he is allowed to align the cells in the RDF repository into random pairs. 